Thank you so much for meeting with me, Miss Charlton. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure, MP. Although I must warn you, I don't have much time. Yeah, let's just let's cut straight to it. You've seen our financials. I don't think if they weren't solid, you would be meeting with me right now, right? Perhaps I'm just trying to get your autograph. But a woman of your status, I think you got better use of your time. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> so what other what other information do you need from me? You're right about your financials. I'm impressed with what you and Mr. Bennett have put together. I didn't expect that level of business acumen from an athlete. No offense. Hey, look, none, none taken. Honestly, it's my boy, Ricky. Hmm, he's very capable with numbers. Although, I can only get so much information from a spreadsheet. Yeah. You see, I'm not only mixing my money with yours, I'm also mixing my reputation. I need to know that that wouldn't be a mistake. Yeah, yeah, I hear that and I respect that. Hmm. But I can assure to you, you can trust me. Hmm. And those assurances mean a lot. Just not quite enough. I respect that you're a man who speaks his mind. Unfortunately, if we're in business together, you're also speaking for mine too. Yeah, but everybody knows that my opinions are mine and, and they're mine alone. Mm. This is a hard line for me. I appreciate everything you've shown me. I rather enjoy you. And I think you've got a bright future in the business world. Thank but you. if you want me to go along with that journey with you, I've got to see that you can be a little less unpredictable. Now, I really must go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for meeting with me. Cheers. I have to increase my corporate level by just one. So all I have to do after the game and press conferences, just pick the team oriented answer. And I don't have to do this for long, just one level. MP, just the stylish man I wanted to see. Here I am, here I, I am. You talk to reporters, right? After your little basketball games. Oh, after the big ones too. Yes, more. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Excellent. I was thinking, next time you talk to a reporter, maybe slip in a little mention about how much you like your pal Mort and his uh, store swags. Mort, I think usually after the games, they like to ask questions about the basketball. Uh, most, but not all, huh? Maybe use some of your newfound skills in the field of public relations to help a yeah. buddy out. Yeah. I'm not asking you to lie. More. Just tell all your fans how much you love shopping More. here and yeah. that it's the greatest store yeah. since sliced bread. More look. In your own words. If the course. question is right, if it comes up, look, I do it, all right? Thank you. Thank you. You need any clothes today? Huh? I'm good, man. I'm Socks? Good. I gotta beat the Pistons. They did not draft me with the number one pick. Gotta make them pay for that. Throwing down the slam. Hey, good to get him going right away. They jumped out to a hot start. Maybe they're okay with not drafting me number one. Oh, I'm putting that foul on Cade on their rookie and one. That would be nice. If I could foul him out of the game, keep him on the bench, keep him in foul trouble. Playing defense is fun in this game. Look at me, 6'4". Versus 6'8", Cade, and I do that, and I'm turning on the Jets, going coast to coast. Another miss. I'll take that rebound happily. Can I go coast to coast again? I got the step, and I'm throwing it down. Now we've got the lead. Pressure, full court, all the way. He's never going to be comfortable. He's always going to be thinking about something. He gets blocked. The pressure is working. What a behind the back. Could this be team takeover? When I get that team takeover in the first quarter, you already know what time it is. It's time to dance. Oh, got him. Lean in. I'm running out of maps. I've been giving guys maps every game. <laughs> I need investors. Where are the investors at? I need help with the supply chain. This is getting out of hand. I'm wide open. He's nowhere to be found. That's how far he was. We've got to take full advantage of this team take. Uh-oh, I'm dancing again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he ain't ready for these moves. They got to foul me. They got to put me on the line. I'm just... I'm just wrecking havoc on the perimeter. I'm doing whatever I want. I'm going wherever I want. Too smooth, too many moves. I like it when I see a 10-point lead. I want to see a 20-point lead. I'm dancing. 
Ooh, turned him around too. The crazy thing is I don't have any dribbling badges. None of the badges that help you chain better. So imagine if I get one of those. I'm going to let this go. My dribbling has been really good without a lot of those dribbling badges. So it's going to be interesting. Which one should I try? Which should I use? Lifting off. My goal right now is to put some more fouls on K. Get him on the bench. Oh, I got the switch. Cousins has to foul. There's no way that Cousins is going to be able to keep up with me. If they're going to switch that play, hey, I'm going to be living at the free throw line today. Let's see if I can get another switch. This could be a great play if the screen works. It does. Quick catch and shoot. Our offense is just flowing. And I'm doing all the scoring pretty much. It's funny because when I set them up, they, they let me down. Again. It's funny. I am a scoring machine, and I don't have a mid-range game yet. I have to go all the way or pop a three. And that's exactly what I've been doing. Quick catch and shoot. Good defense. He's off, so we're off to the races. Can I make it all the way? They got a foul. That should be a flagrant. <laughs> I'm doing a good bit of acting right there. That was a tough hit, though. In midair, getting pushed out of bounds. I'll gladly take these free throws. Another team takeover could be right there. Wouldn't that be crazy in the first half? I should have shot that. He went under the screen. That's disrespectful. Oh, look at that fake curry slide. I kind of like that. I like that bootleg curry slide. That was actually kind of nice. Let's go behind here. That's a fake screen. Look at that. I just made up a screen. They got to foul me. I am living at the free throw line, and with that 70 free throw rating, you see I'm shooting 80 plus percent from the free throw line. So 70 is really all you need. Last year, 70, it wasn't enough. You needed a little bit more. It's like we're trading baskets right now. But that's good. We got a 12 point lead, so we can afford to do that. What a move! Another team take. Two team takeovers in the first half. You got to give it up to the Pistons, though. This is still a close game. They're right there. This is dangerous. A lot of our games are close. If I don't put up these big numbers, we probably get blown out in these games. This is crazy. CPU is insane this year. Oh, they're going to give up a free layup. 46 points, and it's only the third quarter. Oh, give me that. I'm in the passing lane. Can he catch me? No, he can. What a slam. It looks like Bronze Interceptor is good enough because I've been getting steals in the passing lane as soon as I put that on. And downhill Bronze is even good, but I might want to get Hall of Fame for that. Oh, wait. I'm wide open. I am torching this Pistons defense. I'm moving without the ball. I'm getting to the basket. I'm breaking down my defenders. I'm wrecking havoc on defense. I'm ready to steal this. If he puts that on the floor, give me that. You shouldn't be dribbling around me. Hit me with the lob. Oh, it's a layup. I've got the switch. About to run that Phoenix Suns offense. When you get that switch, pull it back out and dance. I'm too fast and I'm lifting off again. What a throwdown. I'm ready to help. Wow, I boxed out Cade with a 25 rebound rating. Hit my boy John Wall. Splash. It's funny because I don't really get to play that many minutes with John Wall on the court. They like to bring him off the bench. He's doing pretty good. Oh, look, he's going to shoot another three. We need to play more minutes together. Baiting Cade. Great contest. I'm cherry picking. I'm going. Hit me. Hit me. Hit. Throw the pass. Hello. 
Quick pass inside for the slam. Look up. I'm always ready. Another 50-point performance. Can I get to 60? I've got time to do it. They're going to triple team. Look at that. Cousins. He's chasing. I turned him around. You know what that means. Another win in the bag. What a game. Uh, Tori's in the house. What's up, bud? Thanks, MP. The team seems to be really gelling lately. Is there anything you feel like you guys need to work on? Uh, on the court, no. Off, oh yeah. Are there some internal issues bubbling up? No, nah, just some of the guys here don't look sharp enough. You know, we should have some standards. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Anybody in particular need the most help? Well, I got a teammate or two who could use some assistance, and you've traveled with us a bit, so you all know the guys I'm talking about. What they do in their own time is fine, but coming into the arena on the team bus? <laughs> look, sometimes I'm like, yo, man, you're making me look bad just by proximity. Bad taste could be contagious, Andrew. We don't want that, so I don't want those fashion atrocities rubbing off on me. You gonna throw him a bone and help out? Hey, look, I probably have to. And I might got to do a trip down to Swags. You know, I do most of my shopping there and set them up with some basics to build around. Got to start somewhere, and for these guys, that somewhere is a rock bottom. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Thanks, MP. Thank you. Okay, uh, Candace. Great performance tonight, MP. You know, I'm wondering, how do you evaluate yourself statistically when it comes to offense? You know, in my line of work, stats are critically important as you know, but players don't always use them the same way journalists do. So I'd like to get your take on that. You know, personally, I tend to follow the organization's lead on that. Every team evaluates in different ways, so depending on what they're trying to do as a team, that's what I look at. Okay, what about on your own, outside of the team structure? I don't really think about it outside of the team structure. I'm all about doing what's best for the name on the front of that jersey. So that's how I attack my work. I almost put up 60 again, 58 points, getting all the badges. I can't wait to be 94 overall. I think I'll have mid-range in the 70s, hopefully. So far, I'm really liking 2K22. The gameplay is very fun. Even Rec Center, too. We've been playing out there. Finally! When I'm in TakeOver, the TakeOver is working. So I think once I get some badges, I'm good. Can't forget, I'm playing this game without any badges. So maybe once I get some ankle breaker, some of the other ones, I'll start to see more of this. Ooh!